My name is Daniel Chung. I'm a former admission officer at Stanford University, Rice University, as well as Swarthmore College. I'm also a former college counselor, and I've been doing work, you know, supporting students with strategy since 2018. And I guess even before then, if you think about the admissions experience. So excited to bring my knowledge to the table. I think that's a really interesting question because it all depends on the individual. So when I was at Stanford in their admissions office, I can confidently say that I have admitted students who have had Fs. They were internationally distinctive in a couple of things, which certainly helped and made it so that we could seriously consider them. That's an extreme rare case. But on the extreme other end of things, you know, we've also had straight A students, you know, be routinely denied as well. So students have, if they have a choice of kind of what to do with their transcript and their curriculum, we want to see their personality come out. We want to see kind of the level of challenge that they had in different subject areas that interested in them. Maybe they made a choice to give up something to then supercharge another area of their transcript. And nowadays, there are actually many ways beyond the transcript that are still academic elements that can feed into a student's academic review. It could be research and extracurriculars, for example, extra classes are taking for credit during the summer, or a host of other things. All those are kind of taken together to create kind of an academic overview of a student beyond just a transcript. It's a little bit bigger than just the transcript itself. But again, it, it depends on the student. Some students are driven more by depth, some students are driven more by, by breadth, and, and either one is fine, but it, it depends. But they still have to be strong overall relative to their class.